Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're going to be going through my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash for September of 2020. One month closer to fall. Man, I love fall guys. <laughs> Oof, okay. So I've got a lot of like random stuff here. I really need to clean this out. I've got a lot of random stuff. We really need to get everything out, shop my stash, and I'm excited to bring some new stuff into my basket. So let's just skip all this, jump right in. Okay, so first things first, over here it is time for this mascara to go. This is the Essence Last Princess Volume Mascara. It was a good mascara, nowhere near as good as the green bottle though. So while I'm glad I tried it out, I still like the false last, <laughs> try to say this, false flash effect, which is the green bottle, better. So that is done. And in its place, I've already pulled out from my last Try Beauty box, this Radial Mascara. So we're just gonna move that up right there. I've got my chapsticks right over here. We're going to leave those there along with this black lipstick from Fenty. I'm going to move out the rest of these. So this is a black lipstick from Notoriously Morbid and then this is a pure lipstick. It's about time to get rid of this. This is a tinted brow gel from ABH and I really didn't like it. Wasn't a huge fan. I'm going to consider this an empty. Since I really didn't like that ABH brow gel, I already brought in a new NYX Control Freak brow gel that I love. I got um, a few of them off of Amazon for pretty cheap. Um, this liner, I'm not, I didn't really use this liner to be honest, so we'll move that back into my collection. And let's see, we'll move the, let's move these back one. We'll move the NYX glitter glue that I still use and love up over here. Then I think we're good right there. I'm just gonna keep this one Milani Make It Last setting spray. I think we're good there. Over here in the corner, I've got my Karma Cream. <laughs> Since they did discontinue it, my heart is sad, lush, why? So I've got my Karma Cream. I actually brought in this uh, Nomad palette by Juvia's Place because I do want to use that in my next full face palette video. So I'm just gonna keep it up here to remind myself that I need to film with that palette. Over here, let me move the camera. There, now we can see a little bit better. So over here, I've got a lot of random things. First is this primer. The primer actually, I love the primer. It's almost empty. Well, it's like a little bit more than halfway done. I love the primer, but it did leak in my first drawer. I had to take everything out and like clean it up. Um, so I kind of want to give it a break. I've been using it daily and while I like it, I want to try something different. So I'm going to move this back into my collection. These are going to stay. This is my oil from my Tri Beauty box. And this is my cuticle oil. Actually, you know what? I should just like put my cuticle oil away for now and like use this as my cuticle oil. Like there's no use in having two oils up here, right? <laughs> you can tell how much I love to moisturize. <laughs> so much moisturizing going on. These are all products I want to move into the basket for this month. So I've been using these single shadows from uh, Crow and Pebble. I freaking love these. These are so good. I cannot wait to do my video and I cannot wait to place another order. Like this is, such an underrated brand, I swear, guys. So I'm gonna move these in once, ooh, once I break all of them. Once we clean out the second, yeah, second drawer, I'll move those down. Same with these. These are two of the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Shadows that I got. I originally ordered three. The third one did break in the mail, so they're sending me a new one, and then I decided to go ahead and buy the other two. So I am going to have all five of them, and I'm gonna do a full video on them. So I'm really excited to do that. Last but not least, I picked up in that same order with the Natasha Denona liquid shadows. I picked up this because it finally came back in stock. This is the Sephora Lip Stories lipstick and it's their black shade. I was very excited to try it out for my next black lipstick video. So this I'm going to go ahead and move over there and then these are going to go in the second drawer once that's cleaned out. All right, so drawer number one is looking a little sparse. I did finish the foundation that I had in here. So I brought in this Wet n Wild Makeup Locker 3-in-1 BB Cream, and I, I love this so much. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna move out this MAC foundation because I don't really wanna go through it too quickly. It is still my closest shade match, so I don't really wanna go through it that fast. And since the rest of my foundations I think are a little dark, I'm gonna keep this white mixer in because I might need to mix things. Um, I did finish a concealer that I had in here. So I moved in the Shop Miss AAOA Studio Liquid Concealer and let's see. I want to move both of these. This is the Matte Putty Primer and the Elf Make Me Matte. We're going to change those. I really like this Wander Beauty product I got in my Tri Beauty box. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks beautiful on the skin but I think I'm going to just trade it out to use some other things up because I use it enough to give it a good review by now. 
I'm going to keep this Crow and Pebble uh, eye primer because I really like it. And this powder I'm actually almost done with. I can actually, it's going to make a mess, but as you can see like the bottom, like I'm almost done using it up. So I think I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to make a mess inside the drawer that I literally just cleaned. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so that's everything for drawer number one. Oof, drawer number two, we can go ahead and move the majority of this out. Um, all of these loose blushes from Crow and Pebble I love, and I'm going to save them for my Crow and Pebble video. This I want to use up. This is a Milani powder I've been using as a bronzer. It's lasted so long. So long. So I... You know what? No. I want to switch. I want to swap it out. I'm, I've been trying to finish this for literally months and it's not going anywhere. So we'll move it out. I'm going to keep this uh, Milani Stay... Not Milani. <laughs> Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in here. And I'm going to move out... Oh, this is in a project pan that has to stay. This, I finished most of them. I'll move that out. And oh, we'll keep the MAC ones there. I'm going to move out this cream blush from Fenty, along with this contour from Burberry, and these two highlighters from Crow and Pebble as well. Uh, this cream highlight, I'm just not really feeling it, so I'm going to move that back to my collection. And then, surprise of all surprises, I still didn't wear my lashes. <laughs> okay, Project Pan, Project Pan, not Project Pan, but that's my brow product right there, project pan, project pan, project pan. So I think we're good here. And then down here is where I want to add the Natasha Denona shadows and the Crow and Pebble loose shadows. All right, third drawer. I am going to move out the Alyssa Edwards palette and the e.l.f. palette. I'm going to keep the blush palette that I made for my Pan That Palette, along with the Dawn Face Palette, and my Natasha Denona Green Brown Palette, so I didn't really change too much. Last but not least, we have this drawer, and I think I'm going to move both of these out. This is the Urban Decay Elements Palette. I think I'm going to do a palette resurrection with this, but until I actually get ready to film it, it's a little too chunky <laughs> to keep in here. And then this palette, this is the Nomad uh, Lake Como palette, and it's beautiful. I've used it a few times, and I've gotten some spectacular looks out of it. So I'm going to move this over to the side, because I have a good amount of um, experience with it now to do a review for my next Tri Beauty Box video. Now, before I put all these away and we go shop my stash, I wanted to pick a few things out from here. With that last Sephora order that I placed, I got a big bag of foundation samples. And I wanted to add a few of them in. So this is the Kindness Vegan Beauty Vegan Kindness Loose Powder. <laughs> we will add that. Well, I keep loose powder up here. Add it up here. They literally gave me like a bunch of samples. So I'm just going to pick out a couple. I'm going to use the Peach Perfect samples. I'm not buying from Too Faced anymore, but they do have my shade up here, Snow. kind of just want to use that and get it out. And same with this one. They gave me a sample. Oh, excuse you. They gave me a sample of the Beauty Blender foundation, so I'll just use it up. All right, I'm gonna clean up the rest of the makeup, put everything away where it should be, and then I will be back to shop my stash. Hello guys, editing Monica here. So as I was about to go shop my stash for this video, I realized that like my mascara and liner drawer and my liquid shadow drawers in my collection were just so, so like in need of a good decluttering. Um, I am planning to declutter the rest of my collection probably later this year. I know I definitely need to go through my eyeshadow palettes, but like these two drawers <laughs> were just so bad and like I couldn't even like look for products anymore so I just went and I decluttered them. I basically went through and I tried all the liners to make sure they weren't dried out. I picked out products I wasn't a huge fan of and then I tested all the liquid shadows and got rid of whatever was also dried out. So here is a sped up version of that <laughs> impromptu declutter.
right, so here we are in my makeup collection. I got all my spongies up on top. Got my tape for swatches. I swear I'm gonna be doing more of those over on Instagram. <laughs> These are all of my nails and razors, old well, nail, nail care, like emery boards. Man, I'm just not. My brain is like mush today. <laughs> this is my liner drawer. Now, I just cleaned this entire thing out, which would have played like right before this part of the video. And I really didn't see anything that I super wanted to pull. Except for this yellow one. I think I'm going to pull this uh, ColourPop yellow liner. And what else? I've already got a mascara. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> I'm so bad at using liner now, guys. I already picked out some single shadows, but I think I'm going to pick out the other two... Uh, Crow and Pebble shadows that I have. Focus. So these are the last two Crow and Pebble loose shadows that I have. I'll move those in. Lashes. I mean, at this point, I don't even know why I still have lashes. <laughs> I mean, they look really pretty, but even in quarantine where I have all the time in the world, like, I'm just not reaching for lashes. For liquid shadows, I did also just clean this one out and... Hmm, I kind of want to bring this out. This is a liner from e.l.f., but it looks very pretty. It's got like a green tint to it. So let's do that. I already have a setting spray, so I don't have to pull another setting spray out just yet. These are all my lip liners. Concealer. I did just switch in a concealer, so I don't think I need to pull in another one. I think I'm okay. Primer. Now I really need a primer. Let me go through this. This one is almost empty and I kind of just want to finish it. This is the AOA Aqua Face Primer. So let's do that one. Got a lot of putty primers. And let's bring in this Revolution, the Revolution Putty Primer. Why not? And then I think we're good there. These are face powders and bronzers and some contours. I really want to pick a face palette. Uh, I already have a face palette in there, but I want to pick a face palette. So I think we're going to leave those alone as well as the blushes. I actually, I might need to move the blushes into an Alex drawer because they're overflowing, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. I really like blush now. So, but like, see, it's, ooh, it's tough to close that now. Okay. These are just my electronics, so let's get into the Alex drawers. There's nothing in here that I really need. I've got all my single highlighters and powders back there, but since I really did a good job of the last like two months focusing on single products, I want to switch it up and do a face palette for this month. I also put the rest of my little samples right here, so I think we're good here. Now for foundations. I really want to pick one that I haven't reached for in a bit, which I'm actually surprised by how little foundations I have left. Do we in smooth? No, it's not. Let's go with the collab. Actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> Let's do the Catrice. I think, I think this one is almost done. Like it looks kind of empty. So I kind of just want to finish this one up too, even though I love it. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is going to be way too dark for me, so I am going to have to use that white lighter, white lightener. And those are the rest of the foundations I have left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically. Wow. And then two face powders. Wow. <laughs> For highlighters, I'm already trying to pan a highlighter and I'm going to be pulling a face palette out. So I don't think I need to pick out a specific individual highlighter, at least for this month. For lipstick, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm really not wearing lipstick, I'll be honest, at all. Hmm. I do kind of, I did feel like the urge to wear a red lipstick the other day though. So let me just pull out like a couple of red lipsticks. 
yeah why not just for giggles <laughs> so we've got the physician's formula healthy lip we've got the wet and wild red lipstick and then we've got the aoa studio wonder matte red lipstick probably just use those for filming but <sighs> i think this is my favorite drawer in my collection my face palettes Ooh. okay what face palette do i want to pull you know what? I've been really wanting to use this one. Get into my butter products. This is the Physicians Formula Ultimate Butter Brock, Butter Brox, Butter Box. And specifically for the bronzers, I miss the butter bronzer. And I really want to dig into the highlights. I think those will be fun. And then I can also mess with the eyeshadows if I want. So I think this is going to be my face palette. All right, so I already have a palette or two in my collection. So I think I'm just going to go through and pick one. Like an extra one to bring in for this month hmm which one which one you know what it is almost fall and in honor of pumpkin spice latte season the pumpkin spice palette from midas this is a beautiful palette i should be doing a fall look probably post at the end of september early october and it will most likely be using this palette so let's bring this bad boy in all right so that is everything that we picked in my shop my stash i'm gonna go ahead and organize all of these products into my basket and then we'll be back for the final reveal Ooh, so here we are everything's all organized this is not like my favorite part of every month i love having everything clean organized put in its place and new products to play with so up here on the top we've got this side is pretty much the same we've got our lipsticks over here our eyeliner and i put the elf liquid liner over there as well um, and then we've got our lipsticks. Everything else is pretty much the same. This is our first drawer with our samples, our foundations, concealers, primers, and my powder. Here is the second drawer. A lot more empty, a lot emptier, a lot cleaner. But I'm expecting three more of these to come in, so we'll have plenty to play with this month. Here is the third drawer, pretty much the same. Actually, you know what, this Dawn face palette, since there's room, I want this to go up here. I feel like this fits up here better. Yeah. And then these can go side by side. <laughs> Perfect. And then I actually had to remove my notebook just for this month. I'll put it to the side somewhere else because the only spot that my butter bronzer box will fit is down here. It actually does fit. It's a nice big bottom drawer. So that is everything for my September makeup basket. Let me know down below what you guys are going to be using for September and if you're just waiting for fall to come. I can please, please be colder. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.